What is it that, that is unclear? And asking yourself, sensing yourself, to find the clarity that then you can move on again. Right? That's the same process that the baby learns to walk with. It's the same process that the baby learns to talk with or hear with. That's the way our nervous systems, our human systems, are organized to learn. So here's what I'm saying. If, if, uh, if, you, if you agree with the first statement that the most um, profound, practical place for human beings is the edge of their learning, yeah? That, in other words, if you're a parent and you're concerned with the happiness of your child, right? And all of you will be at some point, yes? Probably, I don't know, maybe. Then one of the best things that you can do for them is help them to become masterful learners, yeah? If you're a, um, the, head of, you're the head of a department, at the university or in a hospital, and you want to help the people there be more effective together, work together better, mm -hmm. get what's important done better together, mm -hmm. right? Then the most important thing that you can do is help them learn together better. Yeah? So as you start to see that, whether you're concerned with business, or medicine, or education, or being a good parent, or, or if you, I don't know, probably not too many of you are married, I don't know, but if you get into marriage, right, then you've got to learn together, right? Anywhere you turn in your life, the thing that makes the most difference is how well you learn. Right? And the core of how well you learn has to do with how well you listen to your own needs for meaning, for what the meaning is. How well you, go ahead, question. You know what, if it's okay, even though I haven't um, had a chance to press my suit for weeks as it's gone around in the luggage, I'm going to take my jacket off. It's too hot in there. <laughs> now, for, um, let me tell you a little bit about myself and then we'll come back to this conversation about learning. Okay? All right? Um, I have been the president of like five companies in the United States. Right? First company I started when I was 26 years old. It was a robot company. We made big robots. Robots manufactured uh, com computer disks, circuit boards. And then I, I started, um, I went to work for Apple Computer. I started to stop that company because I didn't want to put people out of work anymore. And I went to work for Apple Computer. Anybody hear of Apple Computer? Yeah. Okay. And I was part of its uh, think tank on how computers could help people learn. Um, and then I spent some time at MIT. You heard of MIT? Mm -hmm. Massachusetts yeah. Institute of Technology. And then I um, formed uh, a couple of companies, software companies, that made software for how businesses run, organizations run. One, one of which is um, six very successful today called the Two-Way Corporation, which is being used by most of the Fortune 1000 companies in the United States. <clears throat> so I spent a lot of time in my life thinking about this thing we've been talking about, learning. 
how to help people learn better. Because I really believe that there's nothing that's more profoundly practical than turning up the knob on how human beings learn. It's better, it's helpful for a country, it's helpful for a city, it's helpful for a business, it's helpful for a university, it's helpful for a family. Turn up the learning and it helps everyone. That's been my belief. Okay? So I've shared with you a little bit about this, what I call the process of processing, this core process of learning. The reason that, that this is important is, this may be a little uh, hard to understand, but I'm going to try it. Please raise your hand or scream or shout or stop your feet or whatever you got to do to let me know when you understand or you don't understand. That if you want to go further into something. What I'm talking about, right? Hello. I'm David. Certain curious that you don't do anything about it. 